Look at example two, a water treatment plant treats 43,200 meter cubic of water in a day. Okay, that is the cube, definitely. 43,200 meter cube of water in a day. Based on the jar test, the optimum dosage obtained when 50 ml of 1 gram per liter is added into 2 liters of water. What, do they, what, what does it mean then? Okay, read it again since we don't really understand the questions. Okay. Based on the jar test, okay, the optimum dosage obtained when 50 ml of 1 gram of liter is added into 2 liters of water. I see what it means. That is what it means. Hold on. Right, okay. See, big enough. Okay. Okay, it says to have a solution of one liter, one gram liter, right? So basically, what it means, you have a one liter water. Inside water, you have one gram of alum. Okay. From this solution, one liter have one gram of alum. So they take out 50 ml. And that 50 ml will be put inside or will be added inside two liters of water. So if you know one liter has one grams of alum, so you are transferring 50 ml of this solution, definitely you can know okay, the amount of alum inside there. Can you? Yes. Is my diagram big enough or can you see it clearly? Kecik, kecik, kecik. Nampak, nampak, nampak. The last. Yes. Okay. So if one liter has got one gram, so you know that 50 ml is being transferred inside there. So you need you know the amount of alum inside there. Okay. So you, you know the amount of alum inside there. So that is amount of alum is being put inside two liters of water. Okay. So if you want to snap these pictures, perhaps I think it's quite handy. Okay, so we like to know the amount of alum. Okay, one liter of water got one uh, gram of alum. So we know that in 50 ml of water, you know, the amount of water need to be transferred into the two liters of uh, jar test. So 50 ml, uh, so we use uh, the ratio method. So 50 ml over one liter times one grams of alum. So the amount of alum being transferred is actually 50 milligram of alum. Okay, this is a simple mathematics test. No rocket science in that. Okay, so 50 milligram per liter of alum is being transferred into two liters of jar test. Okay, so we would like to know the optimum dosage. So the optimum dosage is 50 milligram of alum. Okay, I know that this is a very small picture, but remember, okay, this one is 50 milligram. So that one is 50 milligram being added in two liters, and that's why you have. Uh, 50 milligram divided by 2 liters. So this is the optimum dosage, 25 milligram per liters. Okay. So that um, uh, alum quantity, always remember, that is the optimum dosage times Q. Okay. This is our optimum dosage. And our Q was 43,000 something just now. Okay. 43,200 meter cube per day times 30 day per month. And then, um, okay, so this is what uh, those uh, numbers are being put here to eliminate the milligrams, so into kilograms. And then, liter and meter cube does not match. So they need uh, 1000 liters is equal to one meter cube. So meter cube cancel with meter cube, liters cancel with liters, milligram will cancel here, and gram will cancel. Where's my another gram? Oh, this is another careless mistake. Okay, you need to remove this M. Okay, this is a gram. Then eventually you will get in kilogram per month. Okay, please uh, do not write this M. Okay, got the answer already? 32,400. Am I doing the right, wrong thing? Yeah, my answer will be wrong perhaps. Hold on, hold on. Yes, 32,400. You are right. Okay. Okay, make sure that this is 32,400. You, you guys are right. Right, so that is the first part. Okay, that's the first part. The amount of alum is 32,400 gram per month. Doctor. Yep. The fluoride 
is four four three two hundred. That's correct. The three thousand two hundred meter cube. But in the in my example, wrong, is it? Ah, uh, yeah. Forty three thousand. Oh, two only. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Thank you. I spotted. How do we see that? 43,200, is it? Yes. Okay, thank you so much. Great student, you see. I'm happy to teach section one. These are all brilliant students. Okay, guys, thank you.